So I was just making the long commentary visit video on Glenn, Glenn Scrivener's conversation with Tom Holland. And I was switching videos because I was going to play that Ross Douthat video. And of course, up to the left hand side, YouTube is like, Vander Clay, this is the video you want to see. And so I haven't watched it yet. And I thought, well, maybe I'll, I don't get a second chance to see this video once. And I thought, well, maybe some of you would be interested because oh, a lot of prayers for this man. Um, obviously, a lot of talking about this man. So happy to see him. You know, Rick shared with me the, the, the tweet that Michaela had of them by the Thanksgiving dinner. He looks a little fragile, but so, I mean, if I, if I, uh, I mean, I've only shaken hands with him a few times with the little VIP meet and greets and had a little bit of chat with him and emails over the years, little bits. But, um, you know, if I saw the dude in the flesh, I'd give him a big hug, maybe too big of a hug because uh, so happy to see him. So happy to see him back in his home in front of the camera. It takes a lot of guts to do this. Good for you, Jordan. Boy, I'll tell you, I'm cheering for you. I'm cheering for you. So here we go. I'm watching it for the first time. Hi, everyone. As some of you may know, but others will not. It's He's always so careful with what he has to say. Been a long while since I put up any new content on this YouTube channel. Yeah. I've been suffering from impaired health severely impaired health as a consequence to say the least from everything we've heard sequence of benzodiazepine use for anxiety or more accurately from a combination of using that medication and then ceasing its use once i realized it was dangerous um that's put me in and out of hospitals for much of the last year in Connecticut, in the United States, in Toronto, in Canada, in Moscow, in Russia, and in Belgrade, Serbia, as my family searched for specialists who could aid me in the severe post-use withdrawal. And, you know, it, it's something how you can't read 12 Rules for Life as a parent and not see his love for his daughter. And then I was deeply moved by, you know, Michaela's commitment to him and, you know, traveling with him all around Europe. While, I mean, his wife has her own medical issues and it's like you got two kids, probably Julian was helping the mom and Michaela was helping him. And it's just like, what a story. I mean, how much stuff can happen to one dude? neurological damage related consequences of both the benzodiazepine use and and its cessation um i started taking it in 2016 2017 early 2017 according to the prescribed um recommendations and really never give it a second thought uh that was a mistake uh to say the least Anyways, I've learned some things during that trying time, I suppose, or at least I've, I can tell you what kept me going during what was certainly the worst period of my life. Um, family, that's for sure. Uh, friends and the work I was able to continue doing as I was able to continue writing um, something that I'll talk about probably within the next month. My family, my wife, Tammy, my... Nice picture. Nice picture. Son, Julian, and his wife, Julian, and my daughter, Michaela, and her husband, Andre, have been of inestimable value to me and provided me with tremendous support during this period. Um, Michaela and Andre accompanied me to Russia and to Serbia, uh, both of those episodes were extremely grueling and lasted for months um, but I'm alive and I have plans for the future I want to thank those people from the bottom of my heart 
my extended family and friends, whom I will name elsewhere, went above and beyond the call of duty, in my estimation. I'm certainly not convinced that I would have the character to provide to any one of them what they provided to me. So that was a humbling lesson, I suppose. Um, my work, this sort of work, although it was all writing and not video production, was also extremely useful because I could sustain myself by producing and then culling through thoughts that were helpful despite my anguish, I suppose, and my lack of hope for the future. Um, hopefully, we'll see, but hopefully much of that is behind me and I can return to something resembling a normal life. I can tell you what my plans are for video production, at least for the next while. I completed a biblical series devoted to Genesis in fall of 2017, and that has proved very popular. I, I, it's a strange word to use for a lecture series like that. Um, That's the right word to use for a lecture series like that. It's popular, and I think at least since he stopped lecturing, with the exception of maybe a few other interviews, I think the most important work that he did. But I'm a preacher, so what what would you expect? I'm going to start working on the next book in the Old Testament, which is Exodus. But in that will take a while. But in the interim, I think I'm going to produce videos devoted to Proverbs, the book of wisdom, essentially, or a book of wisdom. That's really interesting. That'll be very interesting. Wisdom. Um, you've all heard, no doubt, that wisdom is proverbial, or, is that, or that there's such a thing as proverbial wisdom, and that phrase stems from the book of Proverbs, which are single-sentence aphorisms imparting some truth. I think the analysis of those, which can be done in a relatively short period of time, will prove of benefit to me and perhaps to those who are inclined to watch or listen to my analysis. Um, I like the focus on wisdom. That's very much in line with, you know, where, you know, Verveke's work has been. Um, and I think it's, I think it's right for the times. I would also like to thank all of you for continuing to support my work. I have far more followers on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter, for that matter, than I did before I became ill. And my book has sold very well in, in multiple languages, and that's really amazing and remarkable. And I hope that what I produce in the future will that people will find it of equal or greater utility. That's an ambitious hope, given how much attention. What that, I that is an ambitious hope. Wave number two, baby. I'm getting my surfboard out. I've produced before has garnered, but it still seems appropriate, an appropriate goal for my upcoming activities. Need a goal. Need to shoot after something. I guess I could let you all know as well that we've put together, and this is an initiative that was spearheaded by Michaela and Andre, we've put together the ability to translate the YouTube lectures into a variety of languages. I think it's six at the moment. Six will be ruled out over the next few months, professionally translated, dubbed, because our analysis indicated that in most of these markets, dubbed videos are preferred to subtitled videos. And so that will provide the opportunity for... Who gets to play Jordan Peterson's voice in these other languages? That'll be interesting. The ideas I've been developing, uh, many of which I have derived from other sources, to be sure, to have an impact beyond the English language-speaking world. 
Uh, there seems to be some desire for that. Um, my book, my last book, 12 Rules for Life, sold 300,000 copies in South Korea, for example, which very much surprised me because I wasn't sure that the ideas, well, first were translatable, but were going to be. South Korea is the most Americanized of the Asian countries, um, taken from someone who, given that I, right now I'm living with my wife and two of my daughters, we watch a lot of K-dramas. Acceptable uh, in a culture with such a different developmental background. Anyways, I'm not going to make this a long video. I wanted to tell you that I'm back in Toronto, that I'm in much better health, although it's still severely impaired, especially in the morning. Um, but I can work again, and I really want to. Um, and that to let you know that with God's grace and mercy, um, I'll be able to start generating original material once again and pick up where I left off. Um, thank you very much. And, well, thank you very much is probably sufficient. Bye-bye. Wow. I'm thrilled. That's, that's, that's awfully good news. So I'm, I'm thrilled. Uh, so Dr. Jordan Peterson and your family continued prayers for you guys. May your strength increase. May your um, endeavors be fruitful. And uh, I will certainly look forward to, um, I, I like the, I like the emphasis on, you know, Exodus is a, Exodus is a great place to go, but Proverbs should be very interesting. A number of people have said, well, what about the, what about the Gospels? Because he has some interesting thoughts on that. So uh, thrilled, 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 thrilled to see that video. So looking forward to seeing what he can produce. But yeah, um, take your time. I know the dude loves to work. But uh, yeah, continued prayers for you and your family. And um, looking forward to what you're going to share with us.